G'day everyone, my name's Barney and today we're making a scratch off effect in P5JS. The way we achieve this effect is to have a second layer that we draw on top of the normal canvas layer that hides everything beneath it. And then as we draw our mouse, we're actually gonna remove pixels from that top layer so we can reveal the image behind. And in order to have an image behind to reveal, of course, we need to upload an image. And so you can do that in the editor here by just clicking this little drop down and uploading a file. I've already uploaded this image.png. We then load that image into our sketch using the preload function, which runs before even the setup runs. And we do it by calling the load image function and we pass in the name of our image. So I'm using image.png here. If you've uploaded your own image, it's probably something else. And so you just type in the name of the image here. So in order to hide that image underneath the layer that we're gonna scratch off, we actually have to create that layer that's gonna go on the top. And so I've defined this top layer variable here, and I've also initialized it in the setup using the create graphics function. Now what the create graphics function does is it'll create another graphics instance that we can draw to and everything that you can do on the normal canvas, you can do on this graphic as well. It's just not displayed on the screen until you call the image function on the main canvas and actually display it. I'm personally just gonna keep this top layer really basic, but you can get as creative as you like. I'm just setting the background to a light gray and increasing the text size and centering it and then putting scratch me in text right in the middle. Drawing all of this stuff onto our top layer is the exact same as drawing it onto the normal canvas except that you've got to call these draw functions on the actual graphics object, not just globally. So now we're drawing something onto that top layer, we can get it ready to be scratched off. And to do the scratching, we're pretty much just gonna be drawing lines with the mouse onto this top layer, but instead of adding color, we're gonna be removing it and making it transparent wherever we've moved the mouse. I've increased the stroke weight to 40 because this is how much we're scratching off with each move of the mouse. So a bigger number will scratch more off, a smaller number obviously will scratch less off. And I've set the blend mode to be remove. So what the blend mode does is it tells P5 how to apply new colors onto the layer. We're using blend mode remove here because we're obviously wanting to take color away when we're scratching it off. But there's a whole bunch of different blend modes out there and they can yield some really cool effects for creative coding. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely go and check that out. To display that top layer, we're just gonna call the image function inside our draw loop and pass in the top layer as our image and give it an X and a Y of zero, zero. And this will just draw our layer onto the screen. Now you can also pass in a width and a height here, but we've made our layer the same size as the canvas already. So it's already gonna perfectly line up. So now when we run this, you can see we've got our gray background with our scratch me text right in the middle. So now we can work on actually scratching away this layer. Thankfully, making a simple drawing app in P5 is really straightforward. We're just gonna check if the mouse is pressed, then we're gonna draw a line from the previous mouse position, which is stored in P mouse X and P mouse Y, to the current mouse position, which is stored in mouse X and mouse Y. And you just wanna make sure that we're drawing this line onto the top layer. That's a little gotcha to watch out for. And when we run this, you can see that clicking and dragging is actually gonna be scratching off the top layer. Now it doesn't really look like it's scratching off the top layer, but that's because we've got our background being set on our canvas to be also a light gray, just a slightly different one. So what we can do is instead of drawing a background, we can actually draw that image that we've loaded in earlier. So now when we run this, we can reveal the image beneath. <laughs> reveal the image beneath. Please excuse the different clothes. I just noticed while I was editing that I didn't explain properly why we're using the remove blend mode instead of the inbuilt erase function. So as you can see here, I've commented out the blend mode remove on the top layer and instead I've called erase. And now what this does is it puts the graphics object into the erase mode. So everything we're doing is actually removing pixels from the screen, which sounds exactly like what we want. So when we run this, you can see we've still got the exact same scratch out effect as we had before, but let's try and implement using a stamp instead of just drawing a line. So we're gonna use another image to cut out the top layer. For our stamp, I've created an image in paint.net, but you can use any image editor or just find an image online. The important thing is that the background is transparent. So whichever pixels are filled in are the ones that we're gonna remove from our top layer. And just like our background image, I've uploaded this into the sketch by clicking this little dropdown and uploading this file. I've called it stamp.png, so now we can load it into the sketch. And we do this the exact same way we did the background image. So I've just got a stamp variable and I load in that image called stamp.png in the preload function. Then all we need to do is inside the draw function where we're checking if the mouse is pressed, instead of drawing a line onto our top layer, we wanna just display our image instead. So you can see here, I'm using the stamp image at the mouse X and Y location. And you can see that when we run this, our image is just getting drawn directly onto the screen and isn't actually cutting out or erasing our top layer. 
And the reason this is, is the arrays function simply doesn't work for images. It works for rectangles, circles, lines, all of that, but not for images. But if we comment out that arrays and go back to using the remove blend mode, when we run this, you can see that our star is actually cutting out the top layer and being used as a stamp just like we want. And that's why we got to use the remove blend mode and not just the inbuilt arrays function. And that is how you make a scratch off reveal or a cutout effect in P5.js. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did like the video and let me know in the comments what you're going to use this effect for. YouTube reckons you'd like this video next. Otherwise, there's a playlist here with all my other P5.js videos. So be sure to check that out. See you next time.